YTPC, how's everybody doing? Gabe here, tall as Piper. I am gonna talk about my 100 subs. Pretty amazing. Just a little over two months ago, I did my first video. I had just gotten back into the pipe smoking hobby not too soon before that. Um, watching a lot of mutton chop, trying to get back into it, learn how to smoke it, find that way to smoke, keep it cool and just enjoy it and get the most flavor out of the tobacco that I could. Started looking around, found the Tin Society and I did a, a, my first box opening when I got that box and then uh, started seeing these giveaways and I saw John Laughlin's 100 sub giveaway and that was my second video and that started my foray into the YTPC. I'm smoking the uh, Brent Rhodesian here that I got from uh, RNA Treasures. It was an unfinished pipe and I finished it, stained it and everything. Um, and I really like it. I am smoking the last little bit of a GLP's Union Square sample that I got from the Tin Society. Um, I quite like it. It's uh, it's not as sweet as other Virginias that I've had, um, but it, it definitely tastes stronger to me. Um, but reading on um, you know tobacco reviews, they say you know this would be a good one to sell her since it's just that straight Virginia. So I'd probably buy a couple tins of this and then keep them. For at least a year or two and see what they look like and maybe get some more tins and store them even longer but uh, anyway so gonna do a giveaway I uh, I'm really excited pretty crazy two months and I already have a hundred subs and seems to grow and just the more people I find in the YTPC the more followers I get and as you may or may not have seen, my cellar is quite humble, so I don't have too much tobacco to give away. So I've been dabbling in making some tobacco-related accoutrements, if you will. And I've made a few pipes, stuff like that, but uh, I'm not gonna give away one of those pipes because they're I'm not proud enough of them yet to give them away, but maybe for my next uh, big giveaway I'll do that. So. You guys bear with me, this one is going to be a longer video than I usually do um, just to go through all of this. So, rules first, you have to be of legal smoking age in your country. I will ship anywhere. If you can receive mail, I'll send it to you, but you'll be responsible for any taxes or import fees or anything that may come up like that. So, what to do as far as questions. I've thought about a few and I, I think uh, the coolest one without getting as deep as Padre, uh, maybe for my next one I'll think of a good question to try to compete with that one. But That was a good one Padre. Um, what got you started in the YTPC? Specifically if you're a presenter, what you know started you presenting? I think for me it was seeing John Laughlin's giveaway and then seeing some yabos. I'm like, that's kind of cool. I'm going to do that uh, with the Tin Society and then, you know, start replying to everybody who's uh, doing these giveaways. And then I, you find more and more people and then you kind of get to know them through their channel. And it just seems like a really cool uh, just community, you know. And, you know, the more I see people that are in Texas and near me, I want to have like a 600 mile radius YTPC get together or something uh, and really just get to see some of you guys in real life and then you can see how tall I really am. So, uh, so that's the question. What got you into the YTPC and as a presenter what made you make your first video? For me I think it was a giveaway and a yavo. Um, second question. What is your, what did I say here, your desert island blend? and your desert island pipe. If you were stuck on a desert island and you just had one blend and one pipe, what would that blend be and what would that pipe be? Uh, I think for me, I would go with my, oh man, that's a tough one. Probably 
one of my free hands that I made just because it's mine and it's a big old thick piece of briar so I know it'll last for a long time and I'd probably gosh if I could have any blend <laughs> I'd go with Frogmorton Cellar but uh, that's dreaming third question is gonna be what is your white whale blend what it what blend have you never tried that you want to get your hands on that you want to try uh, for me it's just kind of any McClellan blend because I I just have some Frog Morton, some Frog Morton Cellar, and I have been able to trade for some others, um, some Christmas cheer, and, the, and uh, I think uh, so I got some Foxhound as well. So, but any McClellan blend, those are kind of my white whales that I want to try to find, and you know, any samples that I've gotten, thank you to everybody for sharing your McClellan blends with me. That's just, that's my white whale. So what is your white whale blend? And then last but not least, uh, not least, Last but not least, some uh, shout outs to other YTPC members who are below 100 subs. And uh, let's get everybody involved and just get to know each other and continue to share um, life with each other, you know. And this is a great hobby and I just uh, have really enjoyed it and looking forward to getting to know more of you and eventually meeting some of you in real life. So now, what am I gonna give away so I've been making a few things and I'm gonna give some of those things away I saw my subs start climbing slowly but surely so I was like alright I better get to it so first thing that I started making specifically for this is gonna be this leather pipe roll here nothing special but I made it so all you have here are three little pockets to put your cleaners, lighters, matches, accoutrements in there, and then one big pocket. It holds about two, you know, two regular size pipes and some tobacco in there. So handmade leather pipe roll. Second item is this butte resting my pipe on there right now I call this a little pipe valet I follow some people on YouTube so what this is you've got a little spot here to hold your pipe and you can remove this to hold it flat but this is kinda of just a proof of concept you've got a spot here to hold your matches it'll also uh, hold a zippo and then one of my custom made tampers got a 45 ACP shell casing on the bottom of some oak just to match the board here and then in this area you've got a spot to rub out any flakes you may have let your tobacco dry out with a little uh, corner cut out to uh, put it back in your envelope or your tin or what have you so we have the pipe roll the pipe valet and then some tobacco this is uh, my favorite blend from my local shop here King's Blend it's a um, Cavendish got some vanilla some cherry in there but it's I liked it because it was my first kind of English blend in that it had Latakia in it but mmm it's a uh, aromatic with Latakia um, I'd say it's kind of similar to uh, Cult Embassy where they have that um, aromatic and they've added in that Latakia in there. Ooh, what else do we have here? I saved this Yabo just for you guys. See who that's from. Going to include this. I was like, you know, got to have a pipe as well. So what pipe did I get to give away? It's nothing too fancy, but the two pipes that I have from Chris Morgan Bones line I really love and this is a shape that uh, that I thought looked really cool I think this is their bulldog is what he called it but there you go got a bones pipe for you little bulldog 
put that here on the uh, pipe rest. What do you think? <laughs> All right, so we've got the pipe roll, the pipe, the pipe valet, and I've been fighting off my inner golem to just want to hold on to my precious. And I'm also going to let go of this. Some Frogmorton from 2016. I'm almost crying to give away this tin of Frogmorton. But anyway, hope you will appreciate this, whoever wins it. So King's Blend from my local shop. Some Frogmorton. Pipe. Pipe roll. Pipe valet. I'm just so excited to be a part of this community, to have gotten to know all of you. So, what I want you to do, I want you to do a VR. If you'd leave a comment, I'll say I'll give you one entry. But if you do a VR, I want to stack it heavily towards VRs. I'm going to say five entries for a VR. Because if you are in the YTPC and you're a commenter and you watch videos, I'm sure you've got a way to record video and upload it to YouTube, but I want you to do a VR. If you have a phone, you can do it, but I want to push people to start presenting and sharing their thoughts and doing yabos and doing reviews of tobacco and all that kind of stuff. So do a VR, but you'll still get an entry if you just leave a comment, but just let me know, answer those questions in the comments and also in a VR. So guys, thank you so much. It's been a great two months and I just look forward to getting to know you more and more and you guys getting to know me. So blessings to everybody. Y'all have a great week. Oh, and uh, today is the uh, 12th, I think. So I'll try to upload this tonight, but I'll cut this off. We'll say August 15th is when I will do the drawing. I should have looked at the calendar, see what day that was, but uh, we'll just go with August 15th. I'll do the drawing, and if I change the date, I'll let everybody know. But you guys, thanks for sticking with me for this longer video. Hope you guys are looking forward to it again. Pipe roll, pipe valet, pipe, tobacco, and just letting go of my precious. <laughs> God bless y'all. See ya.